Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Kaz and welcome back to the MGN channel. Today, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to quickly create your netherite tools or armor. Which if you didn't know, netherite is now currently the strongest ingot you can have in Minecraft. In terms of netherite tools or armor, it's much better than diamond stuff, let's be real. Alright, let's start finding that netherite ingot. The first thing you need to do is create some beds. In order to create some beds, you need to find some sheep. Now, in order to get the wool from sheep, you can either one, kill the sheep, or two, create an item called shears and simply shear the sheep. To make shears, all you need is two iron ingots and form it like so. If there's a village nearby to get some beds, you can just rob a villager's house and we can move on with our lives. Now, you're gonna need some more iron for later, so make sure you craft a furnace with eight cobblestone and make sure you have two extra iron on you. Now, we're gonna need to find some diamonds. Now, a quick way to find some diamonds is to dig down to Y11. The Y axis basically means how low you are in Minecraft. And now you wanna do a method called strip mining, which basically means you dig in a straight line until you find some diamonds. Oh, what the heck? Diamonds? What the now make sure you have enough diamonds to make whatever netherite tool or armor you want. In this case, I'm going to make a netherite pickaxe, so I need to make a diamond pickaxe. And now we need to create a nether portal. If you didn't know, all you need is 10 obsidian to create a nether portal and a flint and steel to light up the portal and go to the nether. Now that you're in the nether, make sure you grab some gold, which you can find laying around the nether. Or if you find a bastion, you can grab their gold blocks, which is another fast way to get some gold. But after doing so, make sure you dig down in the nether and be careful of not falling into lava. The nether is a very scary place. Like strip mining, I would recommend going down to Y11. Now once you're pretty deep, you want to dig out in a straight line a couple blocks, place a bed, and make sure you put a block in front of you. If you didn't know, there's a mechanic in Minecraft where if you try to sleep in the nether or the end, instead of you sleeping in the nether, it creates this giant explosion. And if you don't place a block in front of you, well... <laughs> that happened. <laughs> Once you try to sleep in that bed, it creates this huge explosion and thus reveals a lot of space in the nether to find your netherite. Well, let's go. You finally found your ancient debris, but wait, that's not your netherite. Make sure you use your diamond pickaxe to grab that ancient debris. You're going to need that to make your netherite. And also make sure you find at least four ancient debris. I'll explain why in a little bit. Now that you're at a safe spot, you want to now smelt the ancient debris that you found in the nether. So simply put the ancient debris in your furnace and put some coal. Now once you're done smelting, it creates an item called the netherite scrap. Now you're going to need four netherite scrap in order to make the netherite ingot. In a crafting table, put four gold ingots as well as four netherite scraps. You can put it in any formation and it should create one netherite ingot. Now that you made your netherite ingot you want to create an item called the smithing table in order to do so you need four planks and two iron ingots and bam you have a smithing table now you want to go in your smithing table now you may notice if you try to use any other tool like the iron pickaxe stone pickaxe it's just not gonna work it's just not working and that's because it only works for diamond tools as well as armor once you place whatever diamond tool or armor in the smithing table as well as that one netherite ingot hey let's go you finally created your netherite tool or armor i am so proud of you but anyways thank y'all for watching i really do hope this helped you out in some way and i'll see you guys all again in the next video see ya